I always wanted to be an explorer from my earliest days as a kid, wandering through the woods, looking into caves, anything. I mean, finding, looking at birds, looking at animals, some, seeing something new and different. Uh, being a scientist to me is being an explorer. And that to me is the most gratifying kind of experience to see a new phenomenon on the, in the oscilloscope or through the microscope is just as good as being Darwin and finding all the finches, you know, I just or exploring in the upper reaches of the Amazon basin. Uh, it has that same sense of uh, just breathtaking discovery. You, you realize that no one has ever seen this before and you have an opportunity not only to uh, experience that that novel thrill but then as well to try to think creatively about what it means and to make something more of it's not just an observation but how does it fit into our understanding of how this system works so the opportunity to be uh, creative as well as that is uh, important to me it's a lifestyle and uh, a way to spend your time which can be enormously gratifying uh, but it does require that to do well, you have to be willing to give a lot of time to it and a lot of effort, and perhaps to sacrifice some other things that you might otherwise want to do. But it pays back when you do approach it with that kind of enthusiasm. But that requires that it's a fit for you. And for me, I think the opportunity as a college student to find that I really, really liked being in the laboratory and working under the microscope and putting electrodes into cells. and watching a cell talk to me through the oscilloscope was just extraordinary and there wasn't anything else that matched that sense of pleasure so that with those kinds of motivations you can do anything.